It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 17th of February. I'm James Spann. Another winter storm bearing down on north and west Alabama. Winter storm warnings are in effect. There's the upper look. New trough coming in. That's been producing lots of nasty winter weather today west of the state. There's the visible satellite view. It's sunny on the eastern side of Alabama this afternoon, but clouds cover west Alabama. Clouds will increase statewide over the next few hours. And there's the radar. Very colorful look. This is the precipitation depiction product using the Weather Service radar out of Columbus. And you can see that we've got uh, rain and sleet and snow falling over much of Mississippi. And most of that's falling in the form of sleet and snow. And that is headed for northwest Alabama, where temperatures are below freezing at 215. Haleyville at 29. Elsewhere, we've got 40s and low 50s. Anniston, 52. Birmingham, 49. Tuscaloosa, 46. So again, the concern, you can see it's that northwestern part of the state again. Hamilton, brilliant. Haleyville and points north. And around the region, Memphis at 22. They've got snow falling. Starkville, Mississippi, below freezing. They've got 30. So here's the current watch warning situation, a winter storm warning for northwest Alabama, specifically for Lamar, Marion, Winston, Lawrence, Franklin, Colbert, Lauderdale, Limestone counties. Winter weather advisories for Pickens, Fayette, Walker, Morgan, Madison, and Jackson. Uh, those advisory counties right on the fringe of this. For some folks there, it could be a cold rain. For others, there could be a wintry mix. And around the nation, you can see winter storm warnings in effect all the way from East Texas into the Virginias this afternoon. Now in the warm sector, down to the south, we've got to worry about severe storms. We've got a, a level two out of five, slight risk for Mobile and Baldwin counties in Alabama, the Florida Panhandle over to Apalachicola and Indian Pass, and west back over toward New Orleans. And uh, again, we've got the marginal risk up to US 84, so uh, there could be a few isolated tornadoes down there tonight. If you're in South Alabama, be aware of that. And tomorrow, after 7, uh, 6 a.m., a risk of severe storms over the southeastern corner of the state. That would include places like Enterprise, Dothan, Abbeville, and Geneva. And then day three, which is Friday, no severe storms expected, maybe some thunder on the South Atlantic coast. This is the precipitation for the next seven days. And a lot of this for Alabama will be tonight. Rain amounts one to two inches. Now, this is the expected snow. This is coming from the National Weather Service, their national digital forecast database, showing potential in that darker blue up there in the northwestern corner of the state between three and four inches around Florence and Muscle Shoals. This could be a good snow for them. Of course, lighter amounts down to the south and east, and this is the ice potential freezing rain. Freezing rain may be accumulating to a tenth of an inch in spots, but a lot of this will be in the form of sleet and snow up in northwest Alabama. So, model fans, this is tomorrow at 3, and there's your trough, but let's go through tonight. This is tonight at 7 o'clock, and at that point, snow should be falling from Russellville and Red Bay back up toward Florence and the Shoals. Uh, freezing rain for places like Hamilton and Haleyville. Maybe some sleet uh, down to Fayette and Carbon Hill. This is midnight tonight, and again, a warm nose will gradually be pushing northward. This is suggesting the precipitation becoming more freezing rain over northwest Alabama. But for most of the state, it's going to be a cold rain. And then down to the south, keep in mind there could be a few severe storms near the Gulf Coast tonight. Then tomorrow at 6 a.m., it's pretty much over. Uh, tomorrow's going to be cloudy and cold, maybe some uh, lingering light rain or a few snow flurries. This is tomorrow afternoon at 3, showing a little band of snow coming through North Alabama with the upper trough. This is the synoptic scale look tomorrow at 3. The bulk of the really meaningful precipitation is out of here. Uh, North Alabama probably stays in the 30s all day with 50s down in South Alabama, 40s for the central part of the state. Friday, we're dry. Uh, we start the day in the 20s, the high around 40, 41 for Birmingham, 30s for the Tennessee Valley. Uh, the sky becoming partially sunny. And this is Saturday. Saturday morning is going to be cold. We'll be down in the low 20s, but the high will be in the low 50s with a bright, sunny sky. The warming trend begins. This is Sunday, sunny with a high close to 60. Uh-huh, that'll feel like a heat wave. Monday, a cold front comes in with a chance of showers, but this is not an Arctic front, a Pacific front. So Tuesday, the air behind it, not bad at all. Again, uh, we'll be in the low to mid 60s. And here's a week from today, Wednesday, the 24th, the zonal flow and a really nice day. Mostly sunny with mid 60s. 
We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, the 27th of February, approaching the 1st of March, almost getting to meteorological spring here. Got a strong upper high over the Gulf of Mexico nosing in, a trough way out west, and that looks pretty quiet, maybe a few showers north and west of here. Snow for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Got a few members with a few flurries uh, tomorrow and really nothing meaningful. Rain for Birmingham, the mean between 2 and 3 inches between now and the 4th of March. And temperatures, look at the warm-up. After this final cold snap, next week will be in the 60s, and lows next week will likely be well above the freezing mark. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.